If an object is moving at three feet per second, we can plot its velocity as a straight line on this graph of velocity versus time. We can also find the distance that that object has traveled by finding the area under this line. Because the area is a rectangle of width equals to time and height equal to velocity. So its area is velocity times time, which is the distance for an object traveling at a constant velocity. Now, what if we want to find the distance traveled of an accelerating object? That means that the velocity line has a slope, which is the rate of acceleration. To find the area under this graph, we are now calculating the area of a triangle, and not a rectangle. The base of the triangle is time, and the height of the triangle is acceleration times time. So to find the area of the triangle, we take one half times its base times its height, which gives us the distance the object traveled. In general form, the distance equation is one half times acceleration times time squared. Now let's find the distance equation for an accelerating object that has an initial velocity. That means its velocity equation has a y-intercept term, which is the object's initial velocity. If we break apart the area on this graph, we get a rectangle and a triangle. The rectangle has a base equal to time, passed, and a height equal to the initial velocity. So its area is initial velocity times time. The area of the triangle above is just as we calculated before. It's one-half times acceleration times time squared. Now if we add these two areas together, to get the total distance equation, we get one-half times acceleration times time squared plus the initial velocity times time.